There's a big debate on the internet about who's better, AI or the human brain. AI is undoubtedly fantastic at processing huge amounts of data quickly, but many argue that nothing beats a human brain when it comes to making complex decisions efficiently due to its intricate structure. Well, what I believe is that neither AI nor our human brain is perfect. Take ChatGPT, for example. It can give you information in a flash. However, if you ask it a tricky question, it might respond with, Oops, I think I left half of my brain on another server. Now, similarly, your human brain. You're watching this video right now, but trying to watch and analyze multiple videos at the same time. That's challenging for you, isn't it? But have you ever imagined what it would be like if we mixed AI with the human brain? Yes, it's true. There's a lab called Cortical Labs where they are not just mixing, but actually growing mini brains. Imagine the possibilities, combining the quick data processing of AI with the nuanced decision-making of these brain organoids. According to the lab researchers, these mini brains can even replace AI. Now, at this point, I'm thinking about big companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft that are investing millions and even trillions in AI. Imagine you're working hard on something, and then someone else comes up with a completely different idea that not only surpasses, but also replaces what you've created. But how is that even possible? Now, you must be wondering how they make these mini-brains. So let me tell you, these aren't full human brains, but they're made from human brain cells capable of performing simple tasks and learning. They're actually tiny clusters of real brain tissue grown in labs. You can think of it as somewhat similar to how lab-grown meat is produced. If you start with cow cells, you can grow a burger, begin with human cells, and you're on your way to creating a mini-brain. They begin by taking a few skin cells, converting them into stem cells, and then directing these cells to develop into brain tissue by supplying them with specific nutrients and growth factors. This process mimics how our organs are formed during embryonic development, so rather than simply trying to replicate the human brain through artificial intelligence, scientists are exploring biocomputing. In this innovative field, mini-brains serve as biological hardware for what's termed organoid intelligence. Organoid intelligence is a cutting-edge area that combines 3D cultures of human brain cells with brain-machine interface technologies to develop biological computing systems. These mini-brains organize themselves into complex structures resembling parts of the human brain, such as the prefrontal cortex and hippocampus. However, without the entire body to guide them, their development is somewhat random, much like how no two snowflakes are exactly alike despite following similar formation patterns. Why do scientists create these mini-brains? Now, if you're thinking this is something straight out of the movies where researchers conduct suspicious experiments, that's not the case here. Well, maybe it is. Who knows? However, according to them, these mini-brains serve as excellent models for studying human brain development and neurodevelopmental diseases, which often can't be accurately studied in animal models. For instance, researchers have used mini-brains to understand diseases like autism and Rett syndrome by observing how these brains grow differently and react to treatments. By watching how these mini-brains grow and react to treatments, researchers can learn a lot about these conditions. But that's not all. Mini-brains are also super useful in cancer research. Scientists can put cancer cells into these tiny brains to see how they react to different treatments, which helps them figure out the best way to fight different kinds of cancer. Recently, researchers have even started giving these mini-brains psychedelic drugs to study how they affect learning and addiction at the cellular level. So, how could these mini-brains replace AI? Researchers are now suggesting that these mini-brains, or brain organoids, might surpass AI in the future. Well, the reason is straightforward. AI essentially attempts to replicate brain functions through algorithms and data processing. These systems, known as artificial neural networks, are inspired by the neural networks in human brains, but don't involve any biological components. Now let's compare this to mini-brains, which are quite different. Mini-brains are created from living brain cells that form organoids. 
These organoids naturally possess the ability to undergo synaptic plasticity, which is the process of allowing neurons to strengthen or weaken over time, leading to the formation of new connections. This process is a fundamental aspect of learning and memory in the human brain. Because of this natural capability, many brains can learn and adapt in a way that is both dynamic and efficient. Cortical Labs tested their new system using the classic game Pong to see how well it worked. Impressively, their mini cyborg brain learned very quickly and did better than some regular AI systems at certain tasks. Here, it's important to note, however, that despite the significant potential of mini brains, this field is still in its infancy. This technology isn't yet advanced enough to replace AI systems completely, but yes, the possibilities it presents are huge. Researchers are truly excited about the future of mini-brains because they could lead to breakthroughs in how we understand and utilize computing power, possibly in ways that are currently unpredictable and beyond the scope of traditional AI. But wait, is it safe to make something like this? What are the dangers? Now, as we dive deeper into brain organoid research, we're starting to face some really important ethical questions. What if these brain-like structures could become conscious? What does it mean for their rights and how we treat them? It's crucial that as this technology develops, we don't lose sight of the potential ethical dilemmas involving consciousness and suffering. That's why researchers are teaming up with ethicists to make sure the development of what we call organoid intelligence is both ethical and responsible. They're really focusing on keeping everyone informed and involved, ensuring everything is transparent and accountable. So, as exciting as this all is, we need to stay cautious and thoughtful. Even though these early studies are eye-opening, they need to go through strict validation and peer review to really hold water. With a solid commitment to ethical practices and responsible innovation, OI could truly revolutionize both computing and healthcare, bringing in a new era of technology that taps into the complexities of the human brain. What are the challenges and opportunities in organoid research? So, even though there's a ton of promise in organoid research, it's not without its challenges. Growing these organoids is a pretty time-consuming task, and making sure they remain viable is really tricky. Researchers are hard at work trying to figure out better ways to cultivate these organoids and interact with them more effectively. Plus, there's some exciting research happening on how organoids might behave in microgravity during space missions. This could mean that the applications of this research might extend way beyond what we can do on Earth. But as we start integrating these biological networks into computing systems, we're stepping into a whole new area filled with unprecedented opportunities and big challenges. There are loads of practical issues to sort out, not to mention the ethical questions and technical hurdles that need addressing. In my opinion, as researchers dive into this uncharted territory of biocomputing, they've really got their work cut out for them. It's going to be a tough but potentially rewarding journey ahead. Well, what are your thoughts on this? What are the possibilities of these mini-brains in the future? Will they replace AI? Or is that just an exaggeration? Share your insights in the comments below. Also, check out the videos on your screen for